Tonight we have an emotional interview with Billy Dunn, the mother of Haley, the missing Colorado City teen. It has been 10 days since Billy spoke to us on camera, and in just a minute she is going to explain why. Okay, Texas reporter Jacqueline Heinz also spoke with law enforcement today. And Jackie, first let me ask you, uh, did you learn from authorities that they found anything in the in the search of the landfills yesterday? Yeah, no, Wayne. They told us they didn't find anything. That was the big story yesterday, that they searched both the Snyder and Colorado City landfills. We told, spoke with the Mitchell County Sheriff. He said that didn't turn up anything. Meanwhile, Haley's mother is upset the focus of the search may be straying from finding her daughter alive. I want people to know that as long as I can believe she's alive, I'm going to believe that, and I want people looking for a living, breathing Haley. Billy Dunn says the rumors are beginning to get to her, especially the finger-pointing going on about her former live-in boyfriend, Sean Atkins. I feel like there's too much focus on him. She believes when police have been asking for people to come forward with information about Haley, their comments were directed towards Sean. I know Sean, what, he had quit talking to him after all the intense um, interrogations, but I, th I believe they did have to go make some more statements. This week, for the first time, Billy Dunn went to her daughter's school and took time visiting with searchers as she works to keep the focus on Haley. It's good to get out and do that, is what I'm trying to say. It's better than just sitting at home crying all the time, because that's what you do. You sit there and... Think about all the different possibilities. When we asked Billy why she has been refusing to talk to K Texas after we first released affidavit information, she explained watching all this unfold on TV is tough. It takes a toll on you, but I have to do it. I've got to speak for her right now. Every morning, searchers dubbed Haley's Angels meet at the Dunn Bridge to pray before they begin combing the field. You turn down any road out here, and there's people searching. I mean, they're tearing it up. Meanwhile, Mitchell County Sheriff Patrick Toombs admits the law enforcement search is slowing. Some things have slowed down. The, the number of leads that, that are coming in have slowed down. But he assures us the FBI, Rangers, and local officers are still out working the case. And we will continue to work on this uh, as, as long as it takes to find her. A promise echoed by volunteers and Haley's own mom and dad. Missing kids come home. We're going to find her. Well, we all hope they do find her. By the way, there is a prayer vigil for Haley tonight. It starts at 7 p.m. at the Colorado City First Baptist Church. We have a crew down in Colorado City right now, and we'll have more on that story coming on my K-Texas News at 10. There really is, though, growing desperation in their faces. Growing desperation, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Jackie.